is Ralph Irvin and Polly Pavilion, where the UCLA women's basketball team is preparing for the start of the 2013-14 basketball season here with uh, head coach Corey Close. And coach, it's been an eventful preseason for you, hasn't it? It has. You know, we've had some tough breaks uh, in terms of injuries, but um, really, uh, you know, I'm just sad for those guys that they're not going to be able to play the kind of role that they want. But I am absolutely totally focused on the pieces that we still have, the strengths that we still have. And, and really, I've actually not allowed our players to even mention in the locker room or out on the court about any of our injury situations. Uh, we are completely tuned in to all of the strengths and all the pieces that we do have that we're going to take advantage of. Well, and the strengths that you have start with the fact that you've got talent and and, and talent coupled with hustle is going to make a, a, a tough team to beat for any, no matter who you play. Well, I think we have a very, we have a close knit group and we've been talking about being a great teammate, you know, linking the pieces together. It's not what the individual pieces are on their own. It's how they're linked together. And I think our chemistry, our selflessness, our willingness to sacrifice is going to be an incredible strength for our consistency this year. And on top of that, we do, we have versatility. We have great experience. We have playmaking ability, um, you know, Lou uh, from Portugal has been an incredible addition, and she'll be in our starting lineup this year, combined with Atonia Yingafa that has a great experience and versatility. She's a walking mismatch. Uh, Thea Lemberger's put, playing her best basketball of her career. Naira Fields has stepped up in the new roles. Uh, and I think just everybody's taking advantage of their opportunity. You know, Madeline Brooks was a walk-on for us and has been put on full scholarship. And right now, if we had a game today, she'd be in our starting lineup. And she has stepped up into what we've asked of her, and she's been ready when her name is called. Well, one thing that is semantically in effect when you're playing with fewer players because of injury is players learn how to help their teammates do things, how to hustle. It seems like hustling is an easy thing, but really it is a taught skill. Well, I think it's a taught skill and it's an emotional commitment. It's on the days when you don't feel like it. It's on, you know, no matter what happens, we have a responsibility to grow and improve every day and to be a selfless teammate. Those are always things we can control. And I really believe we're not going to be a hero than a zero team this year. We're going to be a consistent team that continues to grow into March. And obviously we got a lot to look forward to in March, hosting the first two rounds of the NCAA tournament right here in Poly Pavilion. You know, what a fun goal to have at the end of this road, at the end of this journey. And so our players are, are really focused and, and honestly we're, we're really not talking about that very much but um, I hope our town I hope all of Los Angeles is talking about it a whole lot because we're really just trying to stay focused I asked him at the end of the day did you get better today were you committed to growing and were you a great teammate for somebody else and if you did those two things then hey then we're we can feel great about ourselves and I think we've strung several days together like that and that's what our identity is going to be built on well, Coach, we appreciate the time, and uh, we'll be following you as the season gets started. Well, thanks so much for being out here, Ralph. Thank you to the UCLA community that has really been so, so supportive of us this year. Uh, already the enthusiasm has been building. People have been contacting us, and uh, it's just why I love UCLA. So thanks for being here, and I'm looking forward to a really fun season. And, of course, for the best news and notes on UCLA women's basketball, you get it all right here at UCLABruins.com.